Generic greetings and welcome back to Sim Airport once again. In the previous episode, we didn't have a load of filth and detritus strewn all over the restroom, but now we do because of reasons that I'll get to in a moment. We also managed to put in a aircraft gate large, as you can see, not connected up yet to the rest of the terminal, but we'll be doing that in the next couple of episodes. We also put in another runway and generally progressed on quite nicely. Sadly, we had a little bit of a bug, and that is quite evident when you go to the far left and you can see a big melee of people, and that's something that we can't resolve. There's been a lot of people offered suggestions and solutions to it but it just doesn't fix anything sadly so I've removed the queue I've placed objects there to try and force them out of the miniature black hole that apparently is opened up in the middle of this airport but uh, no to no avail sadly so that's gonna be a failure state essentially that's gonna break the save at some point or rather it's just gonna make the game go grind down to a halt we've also had similar problems in different queues and yeah it's an issue another issue is that as I said earlier we have no dirty floor everywhere eight ten four Three, one, 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 two, one. Yeah, so there's just uh, filth absolutely everywhere. I don't know whether it's people really busting after they come off this. Maybe they've got like deli belly or something as they run off the uh, off the plane and then uh, they just can't make it and defecate right in the restroom doorway, which is never a good thing and really horrible to say. But either way, that might be what's actually occurring. And um, yeah, because of that, we can't sweep it up as fast. And as you can see, it's everywhere. There's dirt absolutely everywhere. I'm guessing this is a new bug with the latest build, but yes, it's absolutely everywhere. I've even taken the liberty of hiring another nine janitors. We had three originally when I up to 12, and that has not fixed the issue. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 a good thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, continue on, and probably I'll probably bulk record these next couple of episodes, so I can't take your suggestions really from here. The plan is to get as much done as possible before the game breaks. So I'm going to connect up the aircraft gate large and get in maybe a cafeteria if we can. So uh, let's just do that. As you can see, I've got 324,000 generic units of currency because I've sped it up a little bit. And we're going to go to build over to foundation and then we will place a foundation uh, around here. And I think we will probably place it... Um I don't really know the sizing. Let me let me can let me work out the sizing. So these take one, two, three minimum. So we want want multiples of that, but we have to include the wall. So ten would be about the right amount, I would hope. Now what I think is going to happen is oh my good grief, look at all the garbage. Look at the trash there. That is going to break the that's gonna break the um the road as the road comes in. Uh, we're gonna get a garbage truck. And almost certainly the garbage truck is going to back the rest up. Interesting. Anyway, while these build, I'm going to show you the new scheduler, which is a very, very good schedule, a very nice change. This is the master flight schedule, and you can see now it is separated by gate. So every gate has gate A1, A2, A3, and then gate extra large A4. And then it shows you what... what aeroplane, or what airline, I guess, yeah, it would be aeroplane, is landing on that particular gate so and it starts at seven uh, starts all the way back at four like this before midnight and then goes up to here and you can still scale i know a lot of people have been mentioning that yes i know I've, i've i did figure it out um at some point can't remember which episode it was but i did figure it out uh, either way these are now separated uh, in the um for, for gates, so that's pretty good. So you can click and drag them and move them, move them around and things like that. Uh, so I might as well move that back to there and that to there because there's no reason not to. It's just a lot easier to fit this stuff in, which is fantastic. And you can move it around and change the change the gates and also change the time. So that's really good. As you can see, it's much easier now. I've got an hour between every every landing. I can actually fit another one in the afternoon and another one at night. So we're probably going to do that right now. So let's go over to here. And it also says available now. It says available. AM, PM, and night, which is really, really good. So this one says uh, afternoon, which is a 707, and that is a total of 108 max passengers. We will accept that. Go over to schedule, and then you can see it's for some reason double scheduled it. But if we do that, we are now fixed. And then we want to do a PM, so we'll go to that one there, Smart Air Lux, and you can see there's a night one, a 787, which is a. Hang on. We'll have to scroll along. Uh, 787, 300 max passengers. Night will accept that. Then go up to schedule. And then, as you can see. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's problematic. I'm going to have to remove it. I'm going to have to remove it. It allowed me to accept it because it was a large um, aircraft. But remember, I can't really use it because this gate is not a valid gate yet, which is a problem. Oh, well. So I need to make sure that I'm getting a smaller 
plane on here. So we'll go to night flights here, Galactic Point, and you can see 787, not 747, no. Um, another night flight. Is there any other night flight? There's a night flight. An A380, which is an Airbus. Yeah, it's massive. We can't do that one. What about Super Alliance? Has a night of a 787, which is far too big. Keep going down. See what we can say. WestJet has a 737, which is 140 max passengers. That'll do us quite nicely. We'll accept that. Go to schedule. And then you can see we can now schedule it properly like so. Job done. Excellent. So we've got two more, and if we go over to our status, and then yesterday, you can see that we had uh, only one cancelled, which is reneged by the airline, so they actually cancelled that flight, not me, so the rest was totally fine. That's great. Anyway, as you can see, our expansion is complete. I do have this weird fencing issue here, but hopefully I can then place the wall there. No, I can't. I'm going to have to demolish that section of the wall, and that'll probably break the airport because it classes as not being... Oh. No, it just needs a foundation there. Yeah, I thought in my class is it not being secure. Yes, it does. Look, all of this is not secure anymore because that is not in there. So they need to get that done sooner rather than later because otherwise that's going to cost me so much money. Can you please get it done? It's literally one section that I've ordered and there's people walking by. Wow. Okay, that's a thing now. Yeah. I, I, under construction. And they're not doing it, look. All of this is just shut the airport down because it's clusters outside, and they are not doing it. Where are the workmen? What are they doing? What, what are you? You're a labourer. I'm just carrying that to there. Where are the... Where are the staff that are going to work? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to stand in deliveries. Yet there's something to do. Wow. That's a thing now, apparently. Cancel the job, I guess. Okay, foundation once more. Place it there. And they just decide they don't want to do it. Wow, that's... That that happened. Yes. My solution is to demolish... Cancel that project, demolish a little bit more. And hopefully, yes, they will actually finish that off. Then go to foundation, build a bit more, and will they do that? They will not. Wow. Okay. Um. That could be. That could be the end of the series right there. Because they're not building the section they should be. Uh, the only solution I can think is do this with a fence, and that should uh, technically fix it. But oh, they're not even doing that. Oh no, they are building. They are coming along and placing this bit of fence. And oh, they're, they're placing the rest of the wall now. I don't understand why that happened. I'm not going to question it. I'll just say, yeah, fine, and, and go with it, to be honest with you. And um, we'll clear that bit there. That is just so weird. Anyway, so, it looks like we managed to sort that out. Now, what I want to do is change baggage so it's, um, f it's, it's longer rather than... Yeah, it probably goes down here rather than that way, but that means a lot of baggage carousels that we'll have to mess around with. So, one, two... Three. Actually, we'll place it from the bottom upwards, and then that'll probably get us a better idea of what we need. So we'll go over to our zoning and then baggage, and then we'll baggage claim in here. We'll cancel that. Oh, we can't cancel because it's... Uh, well, you can't. And we'll place these baggage claiming like so, and then we'll clear that. Go to none, and then delete that there. That didn't work at all. None, and then do that there which did work, we're going to destroy that baggage carousel and destroy that baggage carousel. I mean, if we're doing a full remodel, then we might as well go and do it. Uh, we need to demolish a part of these baggage carousel sections. I might as well do it now, and then we'll rebuild it in a moment. And then the baggage carousels, we could fit in, say, one, two, three, four, but maybe this is, maybe this is the better way. One, two, three, and then double stack it. So we have six baggage carousels. You know what? We don't need to. We just don't need to. That is fine. That is okay. That, there we are. And if it was one further down, it would be a little bit better. But it isn't so... Yeah, actually, we'll cancel the project there. Cancel those. Destroy them. It says destroy, but we're not... I think we're not... I don't think we're destroying them. It actually does go to the... Um, you can't place them on the wall, so it's going to have to be... The way I said. Oh, you can, hang on. You can place. You can't place them that way, but you can place them that way. Okay, fine. I guess that's the thing. Um, I think that is the better option. Yeah, you can't actually place the entrance down over. Have you noticed that? It's left, up, right, up, left. Yeah, that's. 
Okay. Um, where do I want to place these? How do I want to place them down? We'd have one, two, three. And then maybe another one like that. Yeah, I think I think that should be acceptable. As long as you've got one per gate, then we should be fine there. And we've only got three gates at the moment, so that's okay. So I'll pull this down and then have the entrance sections like so, and then people can get baggage. Obviously, we do want to go over to zoning and security, and then we will expand our security stations all the way down like so. We do need to put some flooring in around here because it just looks fairly, fairly terrible, and we do have the money, so that's no problem whatsoever. We'll go over to flooring and then place said flooring like so, which is going to cost... Oh, it's only 13 grand, so it's no money whatsoever, considering, you know, how much we've actually got. In terms of stuff that we can do, we have everything researched, as you can see. We can build another road, but that would cost a lot of money. Like, an unsightly amount of money. And I don't know... Oh, don't say the workmen are not going to bother building it. Yeah, the... Oh, no, there we go. The workmen, for some reason... I, I don't know whether they've got a really crappy union and are on strike half the time, or whether they're just lazy, but either way, they seem to come and go and not bother doing stuff. Anyway, so... Uh, we need to add more security and expand the terminal to get this gate in. Now, the foundation. Can I place the foundation all the way along like so? No, that would be quite a lot of money to do that, so we'll not bother. Let's just cancel that off and finish off the security and baggage area, which is now working. Although, we've still got a lot of dirt everywhere, which is always an issue. So... Oh yeah, I think we, I think we definitely I think we do need to double stack the the road. Um, how much would road would it co how much would it would it cost? Oh my god, it would cost half a million essentially to make this road to the end. That's just insane. No, we we can't do that. We we can't spend that money. Um, we might have to eventually because of the amount of people that are coming and going in this place, but. At the moment, no, we're not going to do it. So, looks like people are waiting for the baggage. It seems to work. I know, ideally, you want people around all of the sides. Like, that's how the that's why it goes round like that, I guess. But, uh, hmm. I guess we'll leave it for the moment. So, we will go over to our utilities and check that that conveyor belt does go the right way as it does we'll probably be able to split it off to the other baggage carousels around here but that's something we'll do later on now we want to go to objects and to id and put in actually no we'll not go to id we'll go to probably metal detector and we'll put some metal detectors in. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying these are the wrong way, but because of the way I've placed them, as in they go through the baggage scanner and then through the metal detector, or whichever way it is, um, ideally you want all of your baggage and then all of your metal detectors. Like, that's how you want to order them. But regardless which way I have this, whether it be that way, they'd have to either go along and then in and out, or... If I had it that way, they'd go along and then round and then through anyway. So it wouldn't actually... The orientation of this doesn't actually matter. At all. It doesn't matter whatsoever. So... Yes. There's our security, and it's a lot of security. So ID. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll put in... Staff. The problem is, are they going to man these rather than the other stuff? I do not know. It's strange that security... Well, obviously you need security to make sure people... Well, to make sure this is a secure zone, but... But it's very strange that the... There isn't like a just a, a straight exit way to go out. Like they have to go back through this, which is... As I said, a bit interesting. Anyway, let's expand these queues. It's, I mean, it says expand, but we're actually placing them. We probably don't need this amount of ID check stands, but... Uh, well, we have got it. I've learned a lot from this series, and if I was to go through it again, there was certainly a lot of things I would change. I think on the most part, though, we've done quite well. But anyway. 
Right, so there's all our placed. Um, even at max speed now, the game is... I don't think it's chugging along as fast as it normally is. Let's see how many people are stuck here. Um, it seems to be just the same amount of people, actually. Although they're all quite happy looking at their faces. Either that or they're completely traumatised. It's like that episode of Stargate where they... Um, where they get into a... They get into a planet. I can't remember the like the designation, like P4C seven seven words or whatever um but the the gate into a planet and uh, it's a bit strange because they look like they're running slowly and they find out that they'd actually gated in to a world right near a black hole and that's like slowing time down and they're all sort of frozen in time essentially well they're not frozen in time but they're running at a different speed relative to the people that are able to see them and uh, that's why maybe maybe they are moving According, well, they think, you know, the time's passing normally, but we can see them as uh, pretty much going no speed whatsoever. Or maybe it's just a bug. I don't really know, to be honest with you. What I do know is it's causing a massive problem with the passenger satisfaction. Yes, needs, lots of needs to be fulfilled, but we just can't fulfill them. And as you can see, there is a complete backup of everything because of the garbage. The garbage takes... I think it takes like 12 hours to fill it up and by the time you've done it um, what's happened is all of the people that have come in well are, are been s sitting on this bus look they've they've already missed flights they've already missed the flights because of that because of the garbage um, someone did offer a solution and you so what you do is you pl you do you place uh, no garbage um, and it, it doesn't come to pick it up but it just piles up somewhere I don't know if that is a solution that works I don't think it's something I want to go down I don't think it's a route I want to go down to be quite frank with you but uh, anyway we'll do what we can if we just go over to status and we'll say yesterday and we can see that yes all of our flights did depart this one was cancelled it says reneged by airline that might be because we're charging too much but honestly not really too asked if we are <laughs> happily if we are um you know still selling tickets and stuff then that's okay i guess right what i want to do is go to build and to foundation and we need to expand this area so i'm going to double stack the seats and these things here and we need um a seat on this side and then we need at least a gap of one two two minimum so this is where we really want our foundation to be which would go all the way to there 115 if it's 115 was it 115 115,000 for that so that's 115,000 how much would it be to go to there 145,000 and then that would give a, give us a gap of three either side. I think that is better. Even though it's a lot more money, I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. And after all, we are getting, you know, airlines coming and going and just doing quite well. There we are. There you go. Planes. Yay. Although they almost hit the baggage car, which is quite a worrying prospect, if I'm quite honest with you. Anyway, um, where do we want to go from here? Well, we're expanding this. Obviously, they're going to apparently demolish part of the wall before doing this. Oh, it doesn't matter because they're inside the gates. So that's fine. Look at that there. Actually, it looks quite nice, all of the light lighting and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was interesting. I had the game... Did I, I thought I had the game paused, but apparently not. Because two flights landed. Oh, look at all the planes landing. What's that? A 767. That's the biggest plane we can take on the gates. A1, 2, and 3. A4 is here, which we will uh, connect up shortly once they've done this. We could put some different flooring in. I know there's several people said, why don't you put different flooring in for like baggage and stuff like that? Uh, simply money. I, you know, that's all it is. It's just like, I don't want to spend the money. And uh, yeah, it's the end of that chat, really. Uh, I don't mind expanding the floor, like putting the floor down for the ones we need. But no, nah, for the time being, I'll uh, not bother reflooring it. I'd rather expand the terminal. So as you can see, there's several people already saying "arg" because of the, uh, you know, they're just missing their flights. I mean, look, look at all this. Look at the passenger buses. We're going to have to build this road, aren't we? I think that's just inevitable. I think our next thing to do is once we've got this built, which is going to take, well, a week and a day. But once this is built, and apparently that guy's stuck in the corner. Yeah, that's two workmen stuck in the corner. 
Happy days. Once this is built, and we'll put the flooring in, we'll delete this extra section of wall, we'll put our benches in. I will, between this episode and the next, I will just wait and get enough money to do this entire section. I think that's the solution. Well, whether it be a solution, I don't know, but it's um, something I just have to do. Because, look at that. There's one labourer that takes garbage from the garbage area to the truck. And it just takes ages. Yeah, I think it turns up at like 12 o'clock or something. <laughs> Happy days. Right, so the workmen over here, I'm going to fire. Because, quite frankly, they're stuck in the corner. And they are no use to me when they're like that. So, I will hire two more. There we are. Oh, look, they don't get stuck. They're better. And, oh, they're now... They've decided not to... <laughs> they decided not to wait for the bus and walk off the road. That's a new one. <laughs> so anyway. We will... Uh, I think bench... This side of it. But I don't think I want to place it now. No. Probably not a good idea to place it now. Hmm. Wait until the work when it's finished. Oh, look, there's a section there. Uh, clear that there. Okay. And then bench. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we haven't done that side because of reasons. And then it is vending machine, I believe. Yes, it is a food vending machine. And hopefully that will give people better access anyway, because they'll be able to go around. I could move this entire thing down and do stuff like that, but you know what? I just don't think we need to. Oh, God, it's starting to get a bit choppy now. With this, Well, there's a lot of entities on here. And, oh, yeah. Oh, that's starting to get choppy now. And what's that there? Why is that blocked by pending construction? Ah! Right, so you can't place floors if there's already if there's pending construction, such as the, the vending machines. Because the vending... Machines are pending. But now I can. There we go. Right, so I've placed that floor. Uh, once that floor is done, we will be able to then think about expanding this side. I don't think we'll do that just yet because we really do need to get this road done. So I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, we will get the extra road put in and then hopefully expand onto the gate. So let's just see how it goes. Um, You know what? It is starting to, start, it's starting to chug. So, yes... I don't know what the, uh, I don't think there's any fix. I think it's just a case of just nurse this home. It's, it's, nurse it towards getting the large aircraft gate and then whether we start a new series or whatever. I don't know. We will see. Anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.